Queen's Gambit declined, semi Tarusk, main line, exchange variation, 6, NXC37.BXC3CXD48.CXD4BB4 plus 9.BD2BXD2 plus 10.QXD200. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. C5 fights for central control, attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the queenside knight behind the c-pawn. Cxd5 captures black's central pawn. Backs off. This strikes a rival knight. This exchange is fair. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. This exchange is fair. Backs off. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is quite good. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity giving it greater scope. That's good. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. It is quite good. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. That's good. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This may succeed in winning a bishop. That's good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. 
That's good. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This results in a pawn being lost. It is a mistake. This wastes an opportunity to take the lead. That falls flat. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.